friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art, and I'm back this week with another clean and simple card. This week I'm transitioning into the July to December 2022 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and my transition just means that I'm going to be focusing more on stamp sets and products from this catalog um, and more uh, and stepping away a little bit from the annual catalog. Just because September is a great time of year um, to transition into this catalog, because I know many of you are now that you're back into your routines, starting to think about Christmas cards and holiday projects and things like that. So I wanna be able to give you some nice inspiration from this catalog. So today's um, card is going to focus the Merriest Moments stamp set. So I'm gonna be using Merriest Moments stamp set. And this stamp set also has a coordinating hybrid embossing folder and uh, die set. So you can purchase this um, separately from the stamp set, but um, it coordinates beautifully with the stamp set. And I'll be featuring this stamp set more um, as the weeks progress. But today we're just going to do a really clean and simple card. If you need a copy of this catalog, please send me an email. I'd be happy to throw one in the mail to you. My email address is queencitystampart at gmail.com. And you can just request a catalog in there. So the Merriest Moment stamp set has some great little um, holiday botanicals, including some poinsettia flowers and that you can layer together a larger one and a smaller one. You can layer them large and small, or you can layer too large and too small. It's just really fun to play with this uh, combination. There's also some nice holly with holly berries and then some other really fun Christmassy botanicals or winter botanicals. There are also some great sentiments for both inside and outside of the cards. So it's a very versatile set. And like I said, I'll be showing this more samples of this as the weeks pass. We're also going to be using the stylish shapes dies because I like to um, add some of the, the spotted or dotted detail that this die set provides. So we're going to be using a panel of this. And um, let's see here. We're going to be using real red ink and shaded spruce ink. Those are two of my favorite uh, colors for Christmas, of course, and we have a wonderful selection of greens and reds in our color palette. We're going to start by stamping the sentiment using the real red. We're using the season's greeting sentiment, and I'm just going to stamp this on the little banner panel that I die cut with those dies. This also has the little dotted edges, which I really like. And then for um, for the greenery, we're going to be using that shaded spruce ink pad. And we're going to be using the little pine sprig from in there. And I'm just going to do a couple of pine sprigs on this panel. And then we're going to also decorate uh, the inside. So I'm just going to put a couple pine sprigs here. Oops. And a couple here. Like that. And this will be for the inside. And now we can get into the card assembly. So um, as you know, I oftentimes will use a panel of basic white and I'll use an embossing folder because I think one of the ways that you can really keep your card very clean and simple is to um, create a very subtle background that adds some nice texture but not a lot of color. And so this, this uh, 3D timber embossing folder is amazing for that. I think this is one of my favorite embossing folders because it's so versatile. Any kind of woodland theme or botanicals that you have in your set would coordinate beautifully with this wood grain embossing folder. So I'm just going to layer this onto the front of the card and I chose a real red base card and now we're going to layer this panel on the inside and I'm just going to add some a little bit of adhesive here and there and we'll just lay this in and then I'll be able to add a sentiment later but at least the inside's decorated a little bit. And then for this, we're just gonna keep this really, really simple. I'm gonna um, pop this layer up with some dimensional adhesive. Oops. And um, just 
just like this. I'm going to kind of bottom weight this and put it a little bit more to the right side of the card. And then this piece, I'm also going to pop up with some dimensional adhesive. And then uh, one of the nice things about the dies that are part of this set, and I don't have them to show you right now. I must not have brought them in to this room with me, but they have some really great detail. There are some really nice detail dies. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's not with the Merriest Moments set. I'm using a detail die from the Christmas Banner set. So Christmas Banners is another one. This is sold with the candy cane suite that's in the can in the uh, mini catalog that I just showed you. And this, um, we're not using that stamp set today, but I am using a detail die um, sprig of pine. There's also some other detail dies and some other botanical shapes that are really, really pretty uh, for layering, certainly behind the banners in this set and then on other cards too. So a lot of times when I'm making a card, if I feel like I design a card and then I, it needs something extra, I'll often look in my other stamp sets just to see what's available that I could add. So this little detail die creates this little pine spray and you have to kind of push the little, there's some little um, specks in here that I sometimes have to push out after I die cut it. But I'm gonna add this little sprig because I feel like that just adds just the right touch of green and interest to this card. So I'll put a little adhesive there and then just tuck this into the corner like that, just to kind of mimic the greenery here and add a little something to the card. We're also gonna add some of these really pretty uh, red gems just to kind of bring a little bit more red into the card design. So I'll just tuck one under here, like partially under the banner, and one down here, and then we'll add one up here, just like that. And that finishes the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed this beautiful, clean and simple version of a Christmas card using this very versatile stamp set. If you need to do any shopping for your own Christmas card, supplies. You can use the brand new host code that I'm posting for September. You can shop at this email, this um, web address. And I really appreciate your business. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this card, please give it a thumbs up. And um, I always love to hear your comments. So if you have anything you want to say about the card or the, my transition to this uh, mini catalog now, please feel free to do so. I, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much and have a great week.